Hey, what's up guys? I just want to give a quick shout out and thanks to these guys for recommending this boomerang tutorial. And before we begin, I do want to clear something up. The reason why I'm able to get such smooth boomerangs is because my Sony camera shoots at 10 frames per second, which allows me to capture a lot of the background and subject's movement, which gives me a really smooth boomerang. But if your camera shoots at a slower frames per second rate, you guys can still get this effect, but it just won't look as fluid. For example, my old Canon camera shot at 4 frames per second. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the Sony versus the Canon so you guys can see the difference. So yeah, the higher the frames per second your camera can shoot, the smoother the boomerang will come out. A creative tip I do have is if you guys have a background which has a lot of movement, I do recommend shooting that because it can make your boomerang look so much more dynamic. But if you guys don't have an idea for that yet, you guys can still make this boomerang effect and just have your subject go through a pose and that can still come out sick. So now let's get into this super easy tutorial. So the first thing you guys want to do is shoot in manual mode so the lighting doesn't change in between photos. Once you guys have taken your test shot, you guys can now change your shooting mode from single shooting to continuous shooting. And when you hold down the shutter speed, it'll take back-to-back -back photos until you guys stop letting go of the shutter speed. And this lets you get the boomerang. And since we didn't have a moving background, I just had Alexis run through a pose as I held down the shutter button. Before we start the editing process, I just want to give a huge shout out to my friend Josh for reaching out and showing me a faster way on how to edit these boomerangs. He does a lot of creative boomerang and gifts, so I definitely recommend you guys checking out his page. And now for the editing process. So once you guys have all the photos open that you're going to be using for this boomerang, what you want to do is apply the same edit to each photo in order for the boomerang to stay very smooth and consistent. So I'm going to be applying this edit to the rest of the photos. Once you guys have applied the same edit and have all the photos selected, the next thing you guys want to do is go to photo and then click edit in and then you're going to put open as layers in Photoshop. What this is going to do is open each of these photos onto one tab. So once Photoshop opens, it should have all the photos we'll be needing for a boomerang open onto the same tab. And what's really nice is that it keeps each photo labeled as its original file name. So the first photo of the sequence will be at the very top and then the last photo of the boomerang should be at the very bottom. So the next thing you guys want to do is go to image and then click image size and then change the largest dimension to 6 inches. So since I took a vertical picture, I'm going to change the height to 6. But if you took a horizontal picture, then change the width to 6 and then click OK. Now the next thing you guys want to do is go to window and then click timeline and then create frame animation by clicking this button down below. Now that we have this timeline, what we're going to do is click these three lines and then click make frames from layers. So what this is doing is that it's using these layers to create an animation. So if I were to click play right now, you guys can see that it is making this boomerang effect. But what it is doing is that it's using the last photo of the boomerang as the first layer and then it goes to the next one which is the second to last photo of the uh, boomerang sequence. So it's playing the boomerang backwards. So we're going to go ahead and click the first layer of this frame animation and then click the last layer and then click the three lines once again and then click reverse frames. So now it'll play it in the correct order. Now the next thing you guys want to do is click the second layer from the sequence and the second to last layer from the sequence. And once again, click the three lines and then click copy frames. And now click the last layer of the sequence and then click the three lines once again and then click paste frames. And we're going to paste it after the selection, so click OK. And now with these copied frames, what we're going to do is click the three lines once again and then click reverse. So what this is going to do is create that looping boomerang effect. So the last thing you guys want to do is click the first frame of the sequence and then go to the last frame of the sequence and then click the down arrow and change it to 0.10 of a second. What this means is that it's going to be at this frame for only 10th of a second until it moves on to the next frame. And I'm going to play it so you guys can see this boomerang in action. And then it starts all over again. Now the last thing you guys want to do is go to file and then click export and then click render video. And make sure you guys have it set to document size. By default sometimes it goes, it goes to custom so just make sure you guys select document size. And then select the folder you guys want to save it onto and then click render. 
And there you guys have it. Here's our final product. As always, I hope you guys found today's tutorial helpful and if you guys did, make sure to stick around for more future videos. And if you guys do end up making this boomerang effect, I do want to feature a couple of these in the beginning of my next YouTube video. So make sure to tag me whether it's on the photo or in the comment section, whichever one works, I'll check it out. And yeah, that's it for today's video guys. I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Alright, peace.